Before you install your your Linux client and your tar file, you need to first uh, you first need to make it actually. So, uh, in my previous videos, I've I've um, showed you how to install the ComServe, how to download it, and uh, I'm just going to go through a couple of screenshots on how to get the tar file. So, if you were on your ComServe and you instead of installing the packages, you just download it, and um, once you download it. You download it to a location. You're going to download your Linux tar file, essentially, right? So you're going to choose, um, select the operating system. You're going to choose uh, Unix slash Linux. Then you're going to do, for this tutorial, we decided on FreeBSD, but you could do Linux. You could do Solaris. Uh, you could do other ones. And um, uh, push next. And then... Uh, do select select packages and then you could do all packages you could do selective we're going to do selective and then also create a tar file uh, we're going to install the file core we're going to install the file system mysql and the resource pack and it's going to and you push download and essentially what it does is downloads that file and it's a tar file and when it's done this is what it looks like right here first obviously we're going to install the WinSCP application on your com serve so that we can move the files from the com serve actually we're trying to move this file to the to the client itself okay uh, click on push ok let's go through the tutorial next accept typical commander install and uh, we're going to run it when scp now that we have the application um, the when scp uh, started we're going to go over to our client and we're going to see what the IP address is so we can we can talk to it and we can move this uh, this this tar file over. So we've logged into our Linux client here and uh, this one command off the top of my head to see if the IP address is set on this interface is a IP ad address show. There's nothing set. So we're going to go ahead and um, we're going to set our IP address so that it knows how to uh, knows how to talk to the comm server that we can take our our file and our tire file and, and uh, win SCP it over okay let's give us uh, I'm gonna clear the screen a little bit here in order to set the IP address we're going to VI which is virtual editor and we're gonna go to the folder uh, Etsy and then we're gonna go to network followed by interfaces so that is a visual editor for this so we can we can edit um, our interfaces from here you're going to hit E to edit anyway. So after we've um, uh, we VI'd Etsy network interfaces in, we're going to push escape and we're going to go up one over and then we're going to hit um, we're going to hit um, X. That's going to delete everything. And then we're going to do uh, escape again and we're going to do insert or I for insert or gateway is going to be uh, we're going to do 172.30.1.1 okay after we're done here we're now we're going to push escape then we're going to push colon and then we're going to push w that's going to write the changes to it and if we go in again if we go in again and this time do a instead of a vi etsy network interface we we'll do a cat and that's going to tell us what it is. So you see it's changed now. I just had to go in and remove that one. Uh, I'll be right back. As you can see I have removed the one. Now we're going to go to our com serve and see if we can't ping that IP address of that, um, that Linux box. And we can. That's fantastic. Awesome. Excellent. So I'm able to SSH into it from the other from the com serve. So this is the goal behind this. Using uh, WinSCP. Oh wait, sorry. Yes. Okay. So now we're on the com serve. We'll do it like this. Uh, okay. This is going to enable us to get into the um, server via the when SCP it so we're in the server excellent so we're 
essentially looking at um, file system of that that Linux box. And let's see if we can SSH into it now. I'm sure we can. Uh, let's see, 1.32. Open. Okay. Yep. And it was a uh, oh. Linux client. Excellent. Sweet. Now we're in both sides. Now our next step is to take this file and the tar file and copy it over to like a like a Etsy host file or, or just a, a home directory of some sort in the server itself. Let's do that. Let's go let's put it in let's put it in probably temp is where you want to put it at usually that's where they want they go so let's see if we can just drag it over I'll go to users I'll go to my I think I'm logged in as that I sure am okay and we'll just drag it over uh, yep okay it's gonna copy over and after it's done, we'll come back and we'll install. So now that the the tar file is located in this, excuse me, in this uh, this server here, uh, let's just let's just make sure it's there. I know it's there, but let's. I think it was um, temp. I think, yeah, yeah, it's right there. So we're gonna. We're going to install it real quick now, essentially installing the Commvault client on uh, on the server, on this um, Linux. Uh, Before we install the application on this client, we're going to add these two comments here to the Etsy host file. So we're going to do uh, vi slash Etsy slash host, enter, and then e, and then um, we're going to do escape, then i for insert. I'm going to put escape and shift colon. W to write. Now if you cat Etsy hosts file you'll see that those have been added. Now we can go ahead and uh, continue with our installation. So let's install this by typing in tar which stands for um, tape archive then dash v, uh, xvf right and then we're gonna do cv tab well cv tab yeah and enter Okay. Okay. So now we're going to do uh, ls. We're going to see what's in there. And let's go cd to these this folder called uh, I'm sorry, cv. Okay. That's a folder when we get into that. We're going to do ls on that guy. Then we're going to do the um, cv package add package add cvpkg add okay now it's going to install okay let's push enter 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 through that yeah enter through that okay uh, we accept yes what are we going to do we're going to install data protection on this computer one um, client name, of course, that's what it is. Hmm. Linux client. Interesting. Let me take a look. We found that the Etsy host file provided loop back address. Oh, I have to go in and change the. I have to go in and change the. I have to take out the loop back back address on uh, in the Etsy host file. That's what they're talking about right here. So escape, then insert and we're going to type we're just to uh, we're going to comment this guy so we're going to do uh, hash yeah okay so that's commented out we'll go escape then shift colon and w okay let's continue with the uh, installation okay back to this again enter okay etc etc and yes one 
next client. Um, let's see, client name. I'm going to do, give it Linux client. Same, same as before. And we're going to select. We're going to select a couple of them. Okay, this brings us to what we want to install. Uh, we're going to install this as a, a media agent. Originally was an idea, but we're going to do it as a media agent. We're going to push one to install the file system. Two file system core. Um, one file system core. Two file system and three media agent. So, and let's just take a look to see what next page looks like. Next page, you have all these different things you can add and you can you can download to it next page pretty pretty awesome so um, I think that's it so we'll go um, we'll go D for done and do you want to configure the uh, laptop desktop we're gonna push no do you want to install the agents for restore no because that would be restore only I don't want to do that and now it's building it so install directly is usually is always going to be the app folder and we're going to leave the default and would you like to assign a specific group we're going to do no for that because there's no nothing set up yet on that one and I'm going to do allow read permissions yes um, D for done and applying early updates okay looks like it's been done so the port number uh, for the this is this is pretty critical here. So, by default, it's 8400 through 8403, 844. So we leave that blank. 80, 8402. Uh, is there a firewall between the client and ComServe? There is not one. ComServe host name. This is critical here. It's a Commvault. It's just Commvault. Oh, I'm sorry, Commvault server. Excuse me. And uh, have you? Nope. And now it's trying to contact a Commvault server. And it's done that. And checking default manager. Okay, so we're going to do uh, use um, cell level policy. Uh, that's been completed. So let's just push F5 on our com serve. Oh, there we go. We see our new our new cl Linux client. That's also a media agent. So if we go to our media agent. You're going to see our Linux client here. This concludes the tutorial on how to install Commvault on a Linux box as a media agent and as a file agent. Thank you very much for viewing.